about the individuals who refuse to have this number implantation? We expect some minor resistance, especially from highly motivated religious groups. But eventually, hunger will cause even the most zealous to conform to our program. Gentlemen, I believe that within a year, two at the most, our one world government will be a reality. If we continue on our present course, it is my opinion that we could present the devil himself as a world leader and the people would accept him. The clip I just showed you was from the 1981 film entitled Early Warning. Initially, this film didn't get much attention. However, it is now 40 years later and people are starting to notice something a little bit strange. Here, see for yourself. I would like to thank each and every one of you for your hard work and dedication to our cause. In reviewing this year's progress, let me say that we have been highly effective in conditioning the people's minds to accept our solution to the world's problems. The energy crisis here in the United States was exceptionally successful worldwide, and we expect similar success with our upcoming food shortage. Our labor leaders have made great progress by causing confusion and work stoppages in all areas of the world. Financially, the dollar is being devalued even faster than we could have hoped. Politically, the public has lost total confidence in any form of government. The threat of universal war is a daily possibility. As you know, we ourselves do not need to hold any visible office of leadership. As a matter of fact, it's better that we do not. If we control the finances, news media, food, transportation, energy, we control everything. It is important that you, as world leaders, keep our program before your countrymen. With our World Bank and computer program operational, we now have the capacity to control the financial affairs of every human being on Earth by giving each person his own computer number. Anytime his number is used, we would know his financial situation at once. He could not buy or sell anything without his computer number. It will simplify their lifestyles tremendously. The end result will be a one-world monetary and government system that we alone will control. Yes. What about the people who forget their number, or their cards are lost or stolen? We've made provisions for that. By using this laser imprinter, we can painlessly and permanently affix the person's number to the back of his hand or his forehead if he so desires. The numbers would be easily read by this new ultraviolet scanning equipment. For the purposes of demonstration, I've had such a number imprinted on myself. Once this number is imprinted, it cannot be lost nor can it be changed. Now, are there any questions? What about the individuals who refuse to have this number implantation? We expect some minor resistance, especially from highly motivated religious groups. But eventually, hunger will cause even the most zealous to conform to our program. Gentlemen, I believe that within a year, two at the most, our one world government will be a reality. If we continue on our present course, it is my opinion that we could present the devil himself as a world leader, and the people would accept him. So what do you think about this clip from the movie? Please put your opinion in the comments section. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit that like button. And until next time, thank you all for watching, and God bless you all.
Also developing tonight, new laws are coming to the state of Texas, 666 to be exact. Now, these new policies range from handguns, medical care, and curriculum changes. There is a lot to wade through. 12 News reporter Amelia White is giving us a look at the laws that everybody really is focusing on. Amelia? Jordan Dage, there are so many new laws coming out of this legislative session that will go into effect on Wednesday. Tonight, I spoke with three political leaders on how they'll impact Texans. Debated, passed, and signed. 666 new bills will become law on September 1st. This is a, 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 a higher number than usual. Political analyst Tom Tassinger says not everyone will be a fan of the new policy. Latent disregard and opposition to the law of God. Evil will be called good, and good will be called evil. This is to let you know that while seeing the signs in the world, you must not be part of those who do them. Many Christians have left the path of Christ to follow the wrong path, to follow doctrines of devils. We now have what they call half-truths in the church today, where they mix truth with lies for their own selfish gains. Jesus told us before his departure on earth, that at the end of the age, we will experience some signs that will cause us to know that his second coming is near. And as the time gets closer and closer, the Bible makes us understand that when this begins to happen, the end is near. Believers, we need to be aware that deceit is one of the signs of the last days. At the very top of this pyramid is not men. It's Lucifer. You think that's crazy? It's not. It's right on the back of the United States dollar bill. The eye of providence is the eye of Lucifer. And the people at the top of the pyramid take orders from him in order to create a world where he will be worshipped as God. At the top of the pyramid below Lucifer are people helping to fulfill a goal that was attempted at the Tower of Babel. A world government where all people work together to challenge the God of heaven. Everything in life today is all about religion. But the truth is masqueraded by different distractions and illusions that hide the true fact that the true leaders of this world are creating a world where Lucifer will be worshipped as God and his son will be worshipped as a Messiah, the savior of the world. This is not about the United States. It's about the entire world, which is why everything we see today is all global.
that one. I'm going to go in the back way to my place of business. We're going to see some more. top of that building black light Keep your secrets from your friends, from your parents, your children, your doctor, even your personal trainer. But it takes real effort to conceal your thoughts from Google, from Google, from Google. And if that is true today, in future, there may be nowhere to hide. In future, there may be nowhere to hide, nowhere to hide. Smart cities will pullulate with sensors all joined together by the internet of things. Bollards communing invisibly with lampposts. But this technology could also be used to keep every citizen under round-the-clock surveillance. The fourth industrial revolution will impact our lives completely. It will not only change how we communicate, how we produce, how we consume, it will change actually us, our own identity, and of course gives life uh, to such uh, policies and uh, developments like uh, smart traffic, smart government, smart cities. What we will see is that uh, everything will be integrated into a ecosystem driven by big data and uh, driven uh, particularly by close cooperation also of governments uh, with um, uh, business, civil society, and this revolution will come at a breathtaking speed. It will be like a tsunami. I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Thou bearest record of thyself. Thy record is not true. Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true. 
For I know whence I came and whither I go, but ye cannot tell whence I come, whither I go. Ye judge after the flesh. I judge no man. And yet if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone. But I and the Father that sent me. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. I am one that bear witness of myself, and the Father that sent me beareth witness of me. Where is thy Father? Ye neither know me nor my Father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whither I go, ye cannot come. Ye are from beneath. I am from above. Ye are of this world. I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins. For if you believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Who art thou? Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true. And I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself. But as my Father hath taught me, do always those things that please him. And if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. We be Abraham's seed, who were never in bondage to any man. Who sayest thou, ye shall be made free? I know that ye are Abraham's seed. Ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that has told you the truth, which I have heard of God. Why can ye not understand my speech, even because ye cannot hear my word? Ye are of your father, the devil. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead? Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. And hast thou seen Abraham? Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am.